Hey, what's up, guys? To the grave here, bringing you the ultimate fist weaver build for healing viewer twos, which is what I've been using it for. Uh, man, this class is just so much freaking fun. It's crazy. Uh, you really just end up playing like a melee DPS the whole time, but you're pumping out massive healing to your team. You don't even have to target your boys. You don't really have to do just about anything with this build. It's amazing. So anyways, let's get started and look into the talents for it. I put one point into Tiger's Lust, one into Rising Sun Kick, one into Soothing Mist, one into Improved Roll, Calming Presence, Paralysis, Vigorous Expulsion, Tiger Tail Sweep, Grace of the Crane, Ferocity of Zuen, Improved Paralysis, Fortifying Brew, Spear Hand Strike, Transcendence, Chi Wave, Ring of Peace, Fast Feet, Celerity, Iron Shell Brew, Improved Touch of Death, Dampen Harm, Diffuse Magic, Profound Rebuttal, Close to Heart, Escape from Reality, and finally two in to save them all. That'll cover up your monk side of the tree. Now regarding the Mist Weaver slash Fist Weaver talents, you're going to want to put one into Enveloping Mist, one into Essence Font, Renewing Mist, Thunder Focus T, Life Cocoon, Restoral, Song of Chi G, Healing Elixir, Two into Rapid Diffusion, one into Uplifted Spirits, Mist of Life, Nourishing Chi, two into Overflowing Mist, one into Invoke Chi Chi the Red Crane, Celestial Harmony, Mist Wrap, Burst of Life, Failing Stomp, Ancient Teachings, this is the most important one, uh, Gift of the Celestials, Secret Infusion, Misty Peaks, Rising Mist, Ancient Concordance, and Awaken Feline. Uh, you also, for your PvP talents, will need Chrysalis, Peace Weaver, and Alpha Tiger. That pretty much wraps up the talents. And I'll kind of discuss exactly how you want to go about playing this in just a moment here. All right, so you went ahead and set up your talents. Good job for that. Uh, now, regarding your stats that you're going to be wanting as a Fist Weaver, you're going to be wanting haste on every single piece that you can get it on. On every single piece, like top to bottom haste 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 if you can't get haste and you have to pick something else then you want to go with critical strike for the fist weaving build you don't need any tier pieces which is kind of nice and it really just lets you min max your haste stat uh, regarding your enchants you're going to want versatility pretty much everywhere that you can get it uh stamina um on other pieces that you can get stamina on and <clears throat> you're going to want wafting devotion as well now regarding how exactly to be doing your healing and your dpsing because as a fist weaver monk your dps is your healing it really just comes from having ancient teachings which is this buff up here tiger palm blackout kick and rising sun kick heal injured allies within 30 yards for 375 percent of the damage done basically being a fist weaver relies on you pumping out damage while having that buff up but to the grave, how do I keep that buff up? Well, every single time that you press Failing Stomp, you get the buff for 15 seconds. I like to use a weak aura to track it, have it a little bit closer to my screen or to where my character is so that I'm able to see it and always be aware of when it's up. Because if it's down and you're doing damage, you're doing no healing. So you're really just throwing. So every single time that it drops, you need to reapply it. There's two ways to apply Ancient Teachings. It's either one through Failing Stomp but also you can use Essence Font. Essence Font will allow you to get Ancient Teachings up the next time that you hit after pressing it. And the one thing that's nice about that is although, yes, you are casting while using it, it doesn't particularly matter if you get kicked because you'll still get Ancient Teachings and you will be able to heal regardless uh, by punching and kicking. Now, as far as your major defensive cooldowns go, you have two super big ones that you need to be able to press at any given time. Life Cocoon and Restoral. So one good thing about Restoral is that you're actually able to use it while you're in a stun. So you don't want to use that unless you need to while you're in a stun to save your teammates. Otherwise, you want to use Cocoon early because it's only on a 55 second cooldown. You pretty much want to press that almost right away as soon as they start using their first cooldowns. You're going to want to be pressing Life Cocoon either on yourself or on your teammate, depending on who they're going after. Now, other than that, you really just want to press Blackout Kick and Rising Sun Kick. Uh, Blackout Kick has a chance to give you a faster Rising Sun Kick, 
And every time you Rising Sun kick, that's basically your big heal. So just keep your Ancient Teachings up, Blackout Kick, Rising Sun Kick. Uh, another thing that you really want to be pressing right at the start of the games is going to be your Invoke GG, the Red Crane. Basically, this gives you extra healing uh, every time you punch and kick. And it will also allow you to instant cast Enveloping Mist. Uh, so make sure that when Enveloping Mist is glowing that you're pressing that. If you're not able to punch stuff, then you really want to be using Renewing Mist on somebody so that you're continuing to heal you know, during your downtime. If you really get into an emergency situation, you can either roll or teleport away and use your Soothing Mist and Vivify. And let's say you're uh, healing your teammate with that, you also want to use Expel Harm because it will heal you and your friendly target. And that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, hey, look, you still got your ROPs, you got Blackout Kicks, Rising Sun Kick, Touch of Death, and they get low. And uh, I guess one other really important thing to remember is that healing Elixir is not... It's not on your global cooldown bar, so you can actually heal yourself at any given point in time, even in the middle of a global. And because your ancient teachings will randomly heal somebody on your team, it's not smart healing. Like, let's say you've taken one damage, you could still get that giant proc heal of 150k on yourself. So, a way to kind of min-max your healing is by making sure that healing elixir brings you up to full right before you hit your rising sun kick or blackout kick. Obviously with Ancient Teachings up. And yeah, uh, another big defensive buttons, I guess, is Diffuse Magic. Let's say the rep pops his wings, you want to use Diffuse Magic. With the build that I linked, Fortifying Brew is pretty good too. Increases your armor by 25%, dodge chance by 25%, and increases your max health. I like using that against like Warriors or something. And probably your biggest defensive button would be Dampen Harm, reducing all damage you take by 20 to 50% for 10 seconds. Definitely want to use that during major burst windows. And yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and that you have good success with your Mistweaver slash Fistweaver Monk in some games. And God bless. Have a nice day.